welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about circles and stars and in particular what's the mystery value of the circle and the mystery value of the star so what clues have we got to go on well we're told that a circle times a star equals 30 and a circle times a circle times a star equals 180. Now the problem we've got is that circle times a star equaling 30, that could take various values because there's various pairs of numbers that multiply together to make 30. So what I'm going to do first of all is brainstorm a list. So we've got circles and stars. So what could these values be when we times them together? Well, we could have... Uh, 1 times 30, that would make 30, or 30 times 1. We could have 2 times 15, all the other way around, 15 times 2. We could have 3 times 10, all the other way around, 10 times 3. 4 won't multiply together to make 30, but 5 will. 5 times 6, or 6 times 5. Now that is all the pairs of factors that multiply together to make 30. So one of these pairs of factors must be the correct combination of values for the circle and the star. But the question is, which one? Well, they all would fit into the top sum. They all work, they all times together to make 30. But the real question is, which ones fit into the second sum to make 180, where two circles times by a star makes 180? Now, the only thing we can do here is multiply these out and keep trying a pair of values until we get the correct one. So we'll start with 1 and 30. So if the circles are both 1s and the star is 30, what does that get us? Well, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 30 would be 30. Trying to make 180, so that's no good. So the first pair of values is no good, so I'll cross it out. Next, we'll try 30 for the circles and 1 for the star. Well, 30 times 30 would be 900, and 900 times 1 would be 900. And again, that's no good because we're trying to make 180. So we can cross out 30 times 1. Next, we can try the circle being worth 2 each and the star being worth 15. See what that gets us. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 15, 4 lots of 15, is 60. Again, no good, because we're trying to make 180. So we can cross 2 and 15 out. But what about the other way around? What if the circles are 15, and the star is 2? Well, 15 times 15, 10 lots of 15 would be 150, and another 5 lots of 15 is 75 so that's going to take us way over 180 so we don't even really need to bother finish working that one out because it's going to be over 180 so 15 being the circle and 2 being the star is no good either the next pair to try is the circles being worth 3 each and the star being worth 10 well 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 times 10 is 90 again that's no good we're trying to make 180 so 3 and 10 are no use what about the other way around? The circles being 10 and the star being 3. Well, 10 times 10 is 100, and 100 times 3 is 300. Again, no good, folks. No good. We're trying to make 180. So 10 and 3 is no use. Now, we haven't got too many more to try. So let's try the circle being worth 5 each and the star being worth 6. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. So the question is, what is 25 times 6? 25 times 6, if you can't work it out in your head, 6 fives are 30, and 6 twos are 12, plus the 3 I've just carried is 15. Now that makes 150, but we're trying to make 180, so again, that is no good. So it can't be 5 times 6. Now there is actually only one combination left, so it looks like it's going to be the circle being worth 6 and the star being worth 5. But we can't just assume that it's that way around, we better check it. So if the circle is worth 6 and the star is worth 5, let's see what that gets us. Well, 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 times 5. If you can't do it in your head, just do a quick column me method to check. Now, we hope this is going to be 180. 5 times 6 is 30, put the 0 in, carry the 3. And 5 times 3 is 
15 plus the 3 is 18. Now, oh, look, what a surprise. It's 180. And that's what we want. So it does look as though this is our correct combination. The circle must be worth 6 and the star worth 5. Now, although it's taken us a long time to get to this point, the rest of the question will be easy because we now know that each circle is worth 6. So put 6 in that circle, 6 in that circle, and 6 in that circle. Well, 6 add 6 add 6. 3 lots of 6 is 18. So the first answer is 18. And a star is worth 5. So it's a 5 times another 5, or 5 times 5 is 25. So the two missing answers are 18 and 25.